far as where she is. We'll see. This is what we saw a moment ago. And this is a very critical, was a very critical event for Shayla. Because when we showed you that chart, you got to remember that Alicia Sacramoni, she she's almost a lock on, on this gymnastics team. And Shayla does not do bars. So the first order of business is you got to find somebody to fill that hole. So that's why an event like the Uneven Bars is so critical. And this is an event where Shayla certainly could contend. Well, it's like combining two athletes together, Alicia Sacramoni, Shayla Worley. And again, this... This uneven bars routine, it's not as high difficulty as a Nastia Lukin, but it is very difficult, and she has a great look. It's, it's going to bring in a fairly big score. But there's no question about it. Shayla is not at her best. She, she needs time. Yeah, she does need time. She's got a little bit of that. There's still the camp. 15.4 was given to her by the judges. And as we watch that with you, she was waiting for the green flag to go on the balance beam. And she's going to get that green flag right about now. The most nerve-wracking apparatus there is. And Shayla is wonderful on this event, and it'll start right off the top. She loves to do creative moves, and this is what I love about her routine. It's unique. She actually took out a very interesting skill for her mount. One of the reasons is it bothers her back. Jumps like that. She has been very limited in practice because of her back. Big skill right there, actually. In the code of points, that bears her name. And you're the first athlete to perform a skill in a major international competition. You, you get that honor, and rightfully so. She is definitely a, a little bit shaky. She, everything is, is, is good. It's on, but there are, there are slight little balance checks. But the important thing, Tim, you would agree, she's proving to Marta... She's a fighter. She's going to do everything to stay on the balance beam. She's worthy of being recognized and considered. No question. Just the dismount. And she does it so beautiful. Yeah. Knees pasted together. together in the air. Once again, though, she can do better. She started on bars, a critical event for her. She, she got through, did the job. These are the 2008 Olympic trials on NBC. Night one continues. When we come back, Nastia Lukin has looked extraordinarily sharp. Plus, how those horrific Midwestern floods got in the way of our national champion. Earlier tonight, the 19 best gymnasts in the United States gave each other some meaningful hugs, giving you a little window into the pressure they felt. Here we go, kids. We know it's not going to be easy. Let's do this. The tension really is extraordinary. You can see it on the faces of every one of them. When we last left you, Shayla Worley was on the beam. She recorded a 14.8. Certainly not as high as she wanted to see. In a moment, we will see Nastia Lukin on the uneven bars, and she can look so beautiful. It, it's as if her body was made to do this. Nastia has an unbelievable line, Al, on bars. I mean, just the exquisite lines, which is really textbook. This this is what how bars should be performed when you watch this routine. She's the one that is going to hit the handstands. This is what everyone should be hoping to do on uneven bars because it really is unbelievable what she can do. Tim, you and I talk about fate and destiny from time to time, and of course there'll be some fateful decisions made for many of these gymnasts this weekend, but you feel from the very beginning that this Olympics with her father in that gym with Carly Patterson is her destiny. Oh yeah, there, there is no question, and she said that watching Carly go through the entire process, she, she believed she saw that it was possible, and she believed that it could happen to her. Last year, there were people that, you know, with the injury, thought she couldn't contend. But 
You cannot ever count Nastia Lukanar out. Elfie mentioned the perfect body lines, and she has that, but she's got the other part, too. She does the most difficult bar routine in the world. Right here. Watch this, right? Most difficult, a full and a half, right into a release. Whew. Very well done. Had a slight little separation of her legs on that full and a half twist. And this right here coming up, she had problems with yesterday in the training. Beautiful. No problem. All she has left is the dismount. Double front with a half. Oh. Little. Yeah, and you could see that. Right. It's a long routine. She, she just did not have enough rotation. She kind of looked a little tight on the, the giant before. And what we've been watching all week long is is her really pushing the envelope, trying to make each and every handstand. And this is an exhausting routine. Those combinations are extremely difficult, back to back to back. I mean, this is stuff that people, no matter how hard they train, they would not be capable of doing it. The flexibility that she has in her shoulders. And she was a little off there, but she's a champion and figures it out. But not, just not enough flip here, yeah. you know? Just ran out of steam. And has to... If those knees, if they call that mm. touching, if that, that would be eight tenths, but certainly that should be a five tenth deduction for the deep squat, and then probably a three tenth deduction on top of that for the step. So that was very costly. She has so much in her tank, though. I mean, she has so much in her past in terms of great performances. She can absorb a finish like that. Oh, yes, there's really no doubt about that. It's still, Al, this starts at a 17.7. To give you a little bit of perspective, Sean Johnson will either do a routine that starts at 16.4 or 16.2 today. It's a point and a half higher. What Tim means is that with all the elements, if she does it perfectly, that's the highest score she can get. That's right. And of course, we are out of the 10.0, as you've seen already. The, just to give it a little bit of clarity here, the, the A score is all of the elements that you do. Keep adding them up, and that can come out to, in her case, a 7.7 .7 on bars. The B score starts from a 10.0, and those are deductions. Every time they make a little pirouette and their legs come apart, they miss a handstand, you take those two scores together, add them, and that is your final score. It's hard to believe with Bella Caroli in the building and what he did with Nadia and what Mary Lou Retton did that it can never be done again unless they change the sport again. Nastia Lukin gets heavily rewarded. That's a sparkler, 16.7, and the best number we've seen so far. So all is forgiven on the dismount. That is... Um... <laughs> well, they didn't count the knees down, so yeah. they did not take eight tenths. They took at least five for the dismount. We hope all is well in Blue Springs, Missouri, and in a moment we'll see another young woman from the Midwest, the heartland of America, and as much as anyone in the Wachovia Center tonight, Ivana Hong, needs a big moment and although on even bars we've been saying this they've got to find another super strong routine a little bit of a struggle there this is not the place where Ivana really makes the team what she does is she has the same look the same body line and she's struggling as Nasia. this is not this is not a good exercise for her You know, she went to the world championship. She was on that that gold medal team, and her bar routine was not well received. They had to go home and completely change it. Extremely frustrating. A stuck landing, and yeah, Coach Alphonse applauds, but they not, both know that is not not what she's capable of doing. She does not want to talk about it. Here's a kid right off a cereal box. Sean Johnson, two-time national champion. What a story. As a little kid, she bounced into a gym called Chow's Gymnastics, a coach who had come to the United States from China, of all places. He saw that he could possibly take her because she bounced better than anyone else and take her to great places. They went so far as to purchase gym equipment 
that is the equipment that they're going to use in Beijing. Only a handful of gyms in the States have it. Well, like so many places in the Midwest last week, horror. As the waters rolled into town and just kept on rising, kids were taking fish out of the parking lot, and this equipment was suddenly submerged. They had to leave for a few days and eventually were able to get back and start using the equipment again. But these are just small images of what is a major disaster in the middle of America. Our family is here, and Andrea Joyce is with Sean's dad. All right, Al, you know, we know that parents of potential Olympians make all kinds of sacrifices to make sure that their kids' dreams come true. But Doug Johnson has taken it to an all-new level, tearing his bicep while building a new floor for that gym because the other one was damaged in the flood. You could ask so many questions about your daughter. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. I mean, uh, I, I do this pretty much for a living, uh, and it was weird that it, I did that to my arm, you know, during the helping... A chow's, but uh, a little extra drama added yeah. to all of the Olympic yeah. trials drama. This is days before the Olympic trials. Mother Nature throws you this curveball. Can you describe what it was like for your family those days? Uh, well, when we first saw it coming in, uh, you know, and then uh, then we were hoping that you know maybe the gym won't get flooded. But then the next day, when we found out it did. Uh, nerve-wracking? Well, it was at first, but then then when we saw everybody show up, and, I mean, things got done quick. And uh, then when Sean went to uh, Iowa State to train, you know, a lot of people were worried, you know, since it wasn't their own gym, but... Were you worried about her psyche? No. When she's with Chow, I mean... Uh, I'm never worried about her safety. Well, she said she thought that it, the whole thing might have made her stronger, but I know you got a few more gray hairs from the whole thing, right? A few. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Thanks. Good luck next week with your uh, surgery on your bicep. Thank All right, you. back to you, Al. Good stuff, Andrea. It appears now, even if you're just associated with gymnastics, you get injured. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I ran into both of, both of the Johnsons in, in the lobby, and... Uh, her mom said that, you know, they they really kept Sean quite insulated from all of this. They didn't want her worrying about it, but she said even if they didn't, she doesn't rattle all that easily. Well, how can she possibly? Because she told us while she was in the gym and things were happening, she was the last one to leave the gym, and she was almost forced to leave the gym because all the mats, she looked down and there wasn't a mat left for her to work out on. Well, she's looked great in spite of the 